In the pursuit of a healthier planet, both citizens of the world and governments have the power to exact change. Hi, I'm Craig Connolly with WatchMojo.com, and today we sit down with Green Leader Elizabeth May to talk about just how governments and individuals can help make a difference. It's essential that we all help each other, and multilateral action through the United Nations is at the essence of climate action. You know, countries that have made a shift in their technology can then share that with other countries. Right now, it happens that Germany and Denmark have done a lot of investing in wind energy and solar. They are now sharing that. We have to set the targets to reduce greenhouse gas emissions collectively. No one country can do it alone. And the world will be meeting in Copenhagen in December of this year for critical negotiations. We know that Barack Obama is taking the climate issue seriously, so he's the complete, doing a complete 180 on the horror of George Bush. The negotiations will be tough. We've lost years uh, with the Bush administration. It actually is the case that it's our last chance to have an effective global agreement to avoid those levels of greenhouse gas buildup that become cascadingly dangerous and runaway global warming is a scenario that we want to avoid. So the agreement must be all the nations of the world, at least the big economies, that includes Brazil and China and India, agreeing to at least ensure that greenhouse gas levels stop rising by 2016 and begin to come down. I think of people like, um, believe it or not, Arnold Schwarzenegger, very good policies in California, strong commitment to reduce greenhouse gases. Barack Obama has turned into a very strong green leader. Uh, but those who aren't in politics, obviously David Suzuki. I mean, I think David Suzuki's role in raising public awareness extends far beyond Canada. People like Wangari Maathai, um, he's a Kenyan activist. She went on to lead a movement to plant trees, and she's won the Nobel Peace Prize for her environmental work. So you look around the world, there are a lot of uh, citizen grassroots people who are really leaders in this movement, uh, as well as those who, who whose names are household words. 